Hello, friends and fellow Disney fans. Welcome to the Jamie Thomas Show. I'm Brad. And I'm Jamie. And I'm a travel agent specializing in Disney vacations. We are here to help you get the most out of your next Disney vacation. And today we are talking about Disney Dining Plan. Is it worth it? What's the value? And we're just going over all of the changes that have happened in 2020. So stick around for a complete breakdown of the Disney Dining Plan at Disney World. So to open up our video today, we're actually going to be doing an overview of the dining plan. There has been some pretty significant changes that have just come about for 2020 and forward. There's actually an entirely new kind of option. Mm -hmm. uh, so we want to explain that to you, go over the pricing. And then at the end of the video, we're actually going to be talking about the value. Is it worth it? And uh, who's it worth it for, really? There is four different types of dining plans. The very first entryway kind of dining plan you can get is called the quick service dining plan. The biggest thing about this is it doesn't have any table service restaurants. No. So you're not going to be having the sit down character meals, um, no table service. If you're going to be doing that, you're going to be paying out of pocket for that. So that includes two quick service meals per person per night, two snacks, and one resort refillable mug. Price for that is $55 per adult. And for a child, the price is $26. Uh, and that would be ages three to nine. Because yeah. under age three is considered Mickey's guest. Totally free. Eat yeah. off your plate, at buffets, get their own meal, all that good stuff. Yeah. I This is a great option. Mm -hmm. Again, if you're just on the go, want a cheaper option, but don't want to have to worry about paying out of pocket when you're at the resort. The second dining plan is called the Disney Dining Plan. It includes one table service per person per night, one quick service, two snacks, and a resort refillable drink mug. Yeah. Price for the standard dining plan is $78 and one cent per adult per night. One penny. One cent. <laughs> and for a child ages three to nine, price for them is $30.51. Now, um, one important thing I should note is when you are getting a Disney package, they do not give you these breakdowns in price per night. We are kind of taking um, uh, the package price and we are taking what the additional cost of the dining is and dividing it by people to get that um, price. It could change. Usually every couple of years they increase it by a dollar or so, but that is about the chunk you're paying. You won't see that though divided up in... Uh, It'll just be one big package. Bill. It will be one big deal bill with your resort stay. Brad. Yes. It's the brand new one we're going to be talking about next. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is the Dining Plan Plus. Oh, I'm really excited about this. Plus. They're really big into Plus right now. Disney Plus, Dining Plan Plus. It's kind of their thing. It's true. Yeah. yeah they're trying to market plusing. Plusing. <laughs> what does that mean? We don't know, but it just, it makes it better. Everything with plus is better, right? Whatever, Disney World, plus. Plus. <laughs> the Disney Dining Plan Plus includes two meals. And, Brad, those can either be used as quick service or table service meal. Yep. You have flexibility with those. You also get the two snacks and the refillable resort mug per person. Per night. Yeah. The cost for the Disney Dining Plan Plus is $94.60 for adults and $35 for children. So it's about essentially, what, $15 more than the regular dining plan mm -hmm. to give you flexibility to, um, you know, give you an additional table service Absolutely. per day, which is awesome. So that is kind of really nice because oftentimes when you go, you might want to do a couple signature dining restaurants yep. like this um, allows you to do Les that. Celier. Yeah, Easy. that gives you those extra table service credits to do that. Or you're just like us and we really like doing multiple sit down restaurants in a day. We absolutely do. I think the yeah. more you go to Disney World, the more you tend to do that because uh -huh. the less you feel like you have to run around the parks like crazy to do everything and yeah. you start to really enjoy the experience that is dining. And yeah. I think a lot of the restaurants dining 
is kind of a ride. It's kind of an attraction. Well, it absolutely is because you are meeting maybe five to six characters mm-hmm. in one shot rather than having to wait yep. for a half an hour to an hour for or, each of those characters. Or you go to a place lines. like 50's Primetime Diner where the way they serve you, everything in it is kind of part or of the Raven experience. Or Raven Road yeah. where it's a dinner and essentially and a show. show yeah. you know? And also there's dinner shows that are signature dining because you know they are literally a dinner and show. Like yep. A Spirit of Loha, um, Hope to Do Musical oh, Review. Oh yeah, Spirit of those, Loha. You are getting a almost like Broadway caliber. Well, I shouldn't say Broadway caliber. So high, high quality entertainment, entertainment while you eat. While you eat. So yeah. that's obviously not just going to be one credit. That's going to be two um, mm-hmm. because you are getting so much more than just your food during that time. Fantastic. So a lot of people, when they want to do that, they don't have enough credits no. for doing it. So they can do that now and do those signature dining shows and all that options. Absolutely. Or even, you know, during the time um, when we went uh, for the Candlelight Processional. Um, getting a reserve seating with a dining package for that was two yeah. signature meals, yeah. which was totally worth it to have Absolutely that worth seating. it. And we effectively got two shows because at Beer Garden, they do a show for you while yeah. you eat. And then we got the Candlelight Processional. It was fantastic. Totally worth it, Absolutely. Right? Then we have the highest of the options is the deluxe dining plan. That includes three meals. So you can use any combination of quick service or table service per person per night, two snacks, and then also you still get your refillable drink mug. Yeah. So that is the most... Um, That's if you want to do a lot of dining. A lot of dining. But you know what? A lot of people need time to take breaks. Um, I get a lot of people who want to do the dining plan because they'll want to take multiple breaks during the day, mm. you know, and rest. Or maybe they want to do several signature dining options, like all signature dining <laughs> options. And man, that's awesome, right? Yeah. So then they have enough credits to do all that. Yeah. So the cost for the deluxe dining plan is $119 per adult per night and $47.50 per child age three to nine. Hmm. So a couple tips and important information with the dining plan is um, they started this a year or two ago that anytime there is an alcoholic adult beverage available at a quick service or a sit down table service restaurant, you can um, get that as your drink. So that, and when you're talking value, that is where some of the value comes. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. It costs like $15 for, you know, Most if you want to get like a little margarita or something yeah. or, you know. So uh, that definitely adds up in mm-hmm. value. Absolutely. And so it's something to, if that is something that's important to you when you're there, that adds a lot of value to it. If that's something that's not important to you, it is something to keep in mind. A big question I get asked about the dining plan is, Jamie, do I have to eat certain meals every night um so you know on arrival night i get my one table service meal i have to eat on arrival night and the truth about the dining plans is they are totally flexible yeah. um you get That's your awesome credits it is awesome uh, you get your credits loaded onto your account when you go there and you can use those at your leisure so if you want to blow all of your dining credits in the first two days of your trip using 60 credits in two days <laughs> you could do it and they don't care because even though they allot it per person per night um it's kind of just lumped in yeah, when you check in absolutely. so you can use that anytime at your leisure yeah. another question i get asked quite often is does everyone have to have the meal plan in my room yes package? and the answer is yes um you can have it where just one person has the meal plan um if you have multiple different rooms going you could have one room on the meal plan and then another room that doesn't that doesn't have the meal plan that's really and that's the only totally way. yeah that's really the only way or you just don't do the meal plan at all yep Another question I do get asked is, um, can I share my credits? So if you have friends who are going who are not on the dining plan, you can absolutely pay for their meal using your dining yep. credits. So um, a lot of people sometimes will have two different rooms going, and maybe one room does not have the dining plan and another room has the dining plan, and they'll pay with just the expensive meals with the dining credits exactly. and then pay out of pocket for the meals um, that are maybe cheaper. So like yep. just quick service and or go you know like cheap as possible on that one so that's kind of a good way to kind of use it if you kind of quasi want it or don't totally 
Another important question I get asked is, am I going to be limited on the dining plan? What places accept the dining plan and which ones don't? Mm. And honestly, almost every place on property at your resort and in the parks is going to accept the Disney dining plan. Yeah. Um, we found very little places do not accept it. That's true. Right? The thing is, though, that some snacks might not be considered snacks. That is true. You know, so like if you're wanting to get like, there's um this thing called the kitchen sink, the Mickey kitchen sink. It's like a... A seven scoop Sunday or something. Yeah, it's huge. You know, it probably costs fifteen twenty dollars. Unfortunately, that is not a not snack credit. No. <laughs> um, generally, I would say things that are like seven dollars or less are considered a snack credit. Yep. You will actually see when you go to uh, the um, store. There's store, a little logo. There's a little logo that we'll put up right now, and this is what you look for um, when you are looking at a menu, and it will say a little logo of a dining plan snack credit. And so you know that is included. They're really the once you kind of know what the logo looks like, so it's really easy to spot. And you kind of get an eye for oh, that's a snack, Absolutely. that's not. One little tip is Starbucks actually is included in yeah. snack credit. And if you're a person that just needs that fix, there's value. I do. <laughs> I need my coffee fix. I love Starbucks yeah, and you needed one Disney. this morning. <laughs> it's not supposed to be. <laughs> Okay, we. I don't like to be talked to before in the morning, first thing, ask 20 million questions. Another important little thing is that if you are staying off property at a good neighbor resort and you book your Disney package directly with Disney, so you book your tickets and good neighbor hotel with Disney or myself, yeah. then there is quick service dining cards that you can uh, add to your, your package. Oh, that's which is awesome. Cool. And they save money. So, you know, let's say you're buying a $75 card, you're getting more money's worth gotcha. of value. So um, it's definitely something to consider if you are off property. You can't do the dining plan, but there but is there's good neighbor these options. kind of dining cards. So. Very cool. I didn't yeah. know about that. I know. The right? more you know. <laughs> Another tip about the dining plan is you have flexibility on what you order. Mm -hmm. You know, like Brad said before, if you want to order the steak every single meal, you can do that. Um, the only thing that they're kind of restrictive on is if there's like accompaniment, accompaniments? Accompaniments. Accompaniments. Thank you. Um, so like, you know, the steak and you can add on a lobster. They're usually like, you can't add on the lobster onto your meal. So sorry, but you still get that awesome killer steak, which actually some of the best steaks we've had have been at Disney. Oh, yeah. okay. um, and for us, you know, if we weren't on the dining plan, we'd be like, okay, we're going to go with the salad <laughs> or the pasta. Oh, 100%. But when we're on the dining plan, we're like, let's do it all. We're doing the steak. We're doing the lobster. <laughs> For me, the whole experience with Disney World is that it's about the food, too. Yes. You know, it goes beyond just the shows, parades, fireworks. It extends to the amazing food options they have, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely. And the characters that your kids get to meet and stuff. So for me, if I'm only doing one or two of those, you know, I'm still having a great time and stuff, but... If I could go my whole trip and enjoy that magic throughout yes. the whole trip, it yeah. makes a huge difference. Yeah. Like, it just enhances your vacation even more. Yeah. So you're not having to worry and think, oh my goodness, I'm looking at this bill and this is so much money. Mm -hmm. You're just going, it's all included. Yeah. I've paid for it. I've already it. paid it. I've already budgeted that. Yeah. Ready to go. Another little thing about it is a lot of people say, is the food worth it at Disney World? Mm -hmm. I think that really comes down to you. With um, buffets, uh, character meals, I do need to say it's not about the food no. it is about the uh it is about the characters it really is. the food's okay it's good your non-character dining i find the food's better better yes so you know i recommend usually sprinkling in some character meals maybe not doing that the whole time but yeah. hey if you want to make the trip about your kids and do the character, character meals, meals every time do every it. single time have fun that's awesome and you're still probably going to think the buffets are okay yeah you know? and there's options for everyone at buffets I just, which is nice there are some buffets that are fantastic um there's one at animal kingdom that boma. i think oh so animal good. Kingdom oh, yeah. lodge boma uh, yeah. is there's there are but there's several. no characters at that one no but boma um, is spectacular but what's the what, you love tusker house i love tusker house i thought the food was yeah. fantastic there I've never gone to a buffet and been blown away by the food. So picky. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's because, like, I grew up going to buffets, and then my dad would always, like, want us to get the most value out of what he was paying. So yeah. he's like, you're only having ice cream and 
you know, a piece of chicken. So he'd get all judgy with us. So I kind of feel like at buffets, like the pressure, like I'm like, oh gosh, I gotta really fill up my plate and eat everything. And, you know, and then I or grab things too. And I'm like, mm, I'm tasting this. I don't like that. Now I feel bad that I grabbed it, you know? And so I'm like, not sure what to grab always on a buffet. Sorry, this is kind of a, it's kind of a counseling session in the middle of our... <laughs> You love buffets. I love them. You I do. Like You're like buffets. Like, oh, I I did really like Beer Garden though for buffet. Oh, that was another one that was very good. So there are actually I, quite a few. I've already named three that I really enjoy. Yeah. So let's get into a discussion about the value of the Disney dining plan. Now, the question of value really comes down to how you use it. A lot of people I see actually complaining, oh, it's not worth it. Uh, I disagree. I think if you use it properly, there is a ton of value to be had with the Disney dining plan. Absolutely. Um, for me, too, it's a mental thing. Because when I go and I'm paying for 60 to $70 of uh, 1900 Park Fair, a character meal buffet for dinner, um, and I get a bill for, we're a family of five, mm -hmm. right? We get a bill and we're paying that. That hurts. Like, it it's does. like, ouch. But when it's all included before you even check in and you just scan your band and you don't have to pay a thing except for t some tip towards your waiter. No. For me, that's like awesome having that kind of all inclusive well, it helps me to enjoy myself well more so what you're describing enjoy my vacation more yeah what you're describing as far as part of the value or what makes it valuable is the fact that it turns your stay there into an all-inclusive type of experience yeah. where you're not really worrying about the food you've already paid yeah. it uh you just get to go and enjoy yourself well that's a nice thing about disney world you can turn it into that all-inclusive you know you can go and and make it a full experience. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the best thing about yeah. Disney World totally. you know, versus Disneyland, I think, is the dining plan. It's yeah. a plus. Like, it's It's a plus. It's... Disney Maybe that's so what right. they were meeting all along. <laughs> it's a plus. <laughs> <laughs> we figured it out. I bet you somebody was in a meeting and being like, this is a plus to your vacation. And they're like, Ding. yes, we are going with that for fast passes. Take it. <laughs> Dining plus, fast pass plus, <laughs> vacation plus. <laughs> We've got it. So everything's plus. I get it now. <laughs> so we want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We hope it helps as you are planning your next Disney World vacation. And if you are planning your Disney World vacation, why not contact this girl, Jamie with Click the Mouse. She is a travel agent who specializes in Disney vacations. And the best thing about her is when you book with her her services are completely free and she basically acts like a free concierge service you can contact me via email which is jamie at clickthemouse.ca or you can contact me through, through the website which is www.clickthemouse.ca slash slash jamie so thank you guys for watching with us um we hope to see you next time make sure to take a moment to like subscribe, subscribe and comment comment let us know what you think of the dining plan yeah, bye. bye. <laughs>